Howdy folks, and welcome to Hockmeyer Outdoors. On this episode, we're going to be doing some game sled mods, so y'all stay tuned. We're going to be modding this sled out a little bit here. Uh, this is the Eagle Claw Chappelle. It was about 67 bucks off of Amazon. This is their, I guess their medium sized one. I think they make a larger one than this, and I think they make like a junior that's smaller than this. But Meyer and I, we have a new hunting spot that we go to, and it has two ways to it. You can take a 45 minute hike through some uh, heavy brush and stuff like that, or you can cross a river. And usually at that time, during rifle season and a little bit of archery season, the river is super low. So it's not necessarily getting to the spot. It's if you get a deer and getting all your gear back across it, because we did that this year when we got that, when we got two bucks in one city. And uh, that was not, that was kind of a, a, a difficult task to do. But I did a lot of research and I didn't think a cart was gonna be a good option. So, because it's all uneven ground, it's rocky, it's watery and stuff like that and muddy. So a lot of videos pointed me towards this sled. And, but this sled has a lot of stuff lacking in its original form here. All right, to go over some of the mods that I'm gonna do, the very first one, I'm going to be getting rid of these holes in the fuselage here. I don't think that's a very good idea. I think after years of pulling heavy loads and stuff like that, this is gonna crack at some point. It's just gonna pull right through. Plus you're pulling all your weight from the front. I don't like that idea. So we're gonna get rid of those holes. We're going to screw in holes at the corners, a couple in the middle here. And we're going to string a better rope than what comes with it. That's the only rope that comes with it. String a uh, better rope all the way through. I'm going to be adding some uh, anchor points to this. So I have places to uh, put a couple straps across if I need it. So doing a lot of research online and seeing what other people done. Here's some of the items I'm going to be putting on here. I'll be using some uh, plastic JB Weld Bonder here. Uh, there's other ways of doing this, but I'm gonna try this out. A little camouflage paint to spray over the, the uh, plastic welder. Some rings here. Got uh, some bicycle handles to put on the, the rope. Some uh, anchor points. The sled is about 53 and a half inches long. We'll measure it out. I'm definitely putting four holes in the corner. And then I just need to decide. I want to go two, two holes, two holes. And uh, where I want to put the anchor point as well. But we'll get some, uh, get the holes in the corner started. So from the corner, I went in about eight inches, I believe. Yeah, went in eight inches. And we'll do the same thing to this side. Now, I'm not a professional sled maker, but I know these modifications are gonna help it out a lot. So I went in 16 inches from here, went another five inches, made another hole, and I'm going to go another 16, I'm gonna go from this side again. I'm gonna go in 16 inches, make another two holes. Before we go any further, I'm gonna put these bicycle grips on. Uh, the ends were enclosed, so I just took the blade real quick and cut off the ends. But I'm gonna put them on there 
like you would a bicycle, I guess. Put this end pointing inwards. Put a nice double knot underneath here just so it's a larger diameter than what the hole is. I'm gonna tighten it all up here in a second. I'm gonna leave this excess here, but I am gonna burn it, singe it off. So here's the finished product. I believe I gave myself enough rope. I'm not really sure, but anchor points came down nice. The rope system came down nice. We're gonna go use this and uh, pick up my blind from back in the field, try it out. bit of weight in there not like a big 12 point buck or anything but i can tell you this is going to be significantly easier than just dragging one but in the comments what you use to pull game out of the woods you use a sled a cart or something like that but if you like this content hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for all that you do and good.